Welcome to lesson 5.2 using linear equations in slope intercept form. In this lesson, you are going to be writing equations of a line using um, different points on that line. All right, so if you recall in the past, um, we've been talking about slope intercept form in general, which is this y equals mx plus b. Um, we think about m as the slope and b as our intercept. And we use um, this information. We've been able to graph lines when we are given the slope or two points in order to find the slope and if we are given the intercept. So let's go through the different steps on how to write a line um, in slope intercept form. The first step is we need to identify the slope. Um, this it can be done in a couple different ways. Um, sometimes it gives you the slope. Sometimes it just gives you two points and you need to calculate the slope using the slope formula. If you remember, the slope formula is the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. The next step is to find the y-intercept. Um, again, oftentimes they will give it to you, but if they do not give you the um, intercept and they give you at least one point, that point is an x and y um, information that you can actually plug in for the x and y in your equation as long as you have slope in order to solve for b. And we'll look at how to do that in um, later in the video, okay? And then the final step is just to write all of our information in this y equals mx plus b form. So plugging in your slope and plugging in your intercept, okay? Now there are three different ways we can do this, okay? Um, we can do this by if we are given the slope and the y-intercept, which is what we did in um, the video yesterday, okay? Um, and then there is when you are given slope and you're given one point, and we'll go over how to do that. Um, in the next, next example. And then the final way is if we are um, given just two points and we need to figure out the intercept and the slope. All right, so let's look at an example. Okay, so um, we are given this uh, question, write an equation of the line that passes through the point negative one, three, and has a slope of negative four. So right away we know that my slope is negative 4, so my m is negative 4. All right, the next step is that I need to find my y-intercept, okay? This is where um, in the previous slide I was talking about how to um, plug in my point into my equation. So I'm going to rewrite my equation, um, putting my slope in. Okay, and then putting my x value and my y value. If you recall, I have an x value, in this case it's negative 1, and I have a y value, in this case it's 3. So I'm going to do that all in one step here. So if you look, I have my y value equals, so 3 equals negative 4, which is my slope, times negative 1, which is my x value, plus b. In this case, what I'm trying to do is get my intercept or solve for b. So I'm just going to do the math here. So negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. So then I end up with 3 equals 4. I'll write it over here. 3 equals 4 plus b. And in this case, b is going to need to become negative 1. If I were to subtract 4, just like I'm solving an equation, 3 minus 4 would then be negative 1. Okay. Then I'm going to take all that information, I'm going to plug it back in. I have my slope, which again was negative 4, they gave that to us. Now I have an intercept that is negative 1. Okay. So I'm going to plug that back into my slope-intercept form, and that is going to be y equals negative 4x minus 1, where negative 4 is my slope and negative 1 is my intercept. Right, let's try one more example with this idea. Okay. It says write an equation of a line that passes through the point 6, 3 and has a slope of 2. Um, if you want to pause right now and try it on your own so you uh, make sure you understand it, um, that would probably be a good idea. Um, and then I'm going to go through and actually solve it. So pause and then here's the solution. Okay, so I need to plug it into this y equals mx plus b form. 
Now I know my slope. So I'm gonna write, I'm gonna rewrite my equation knowing my slope. My slope in this case is two. So I'm gonna write y equals two x plus b. Now I don't have an intercept, I need to solve for an intercept, but I have an x value and I have my y value. So I'm gonna plug that information in here. So I have three equals two times six plus b. Then solve like a normal equation. I have three equals two times six is 12 plus b. Subtract 12 from both sides. And three minus 12 is negative nine. So my intercept now is negative nine, where my slope is two. I'm gonna take the, both these pieces of information right here, and I'm gonna plug it into my equation. So my equation is gonna become y equals two x minus nine, and that would be my answer. I'll circle it in blue. That's my answer, okay? So that is um, one of the ways, if you recall, this second way when given the slope and one point. All right, so let's look at the final way of doing this problem um, when you are just given two points, okay? So the example says write an equation of a line that passes through negative 2, 5 and 2, negative 1, okay? The first step I need to do is find my slope. So I need to calculate slope using my slope formula. Here's my slope formula. And I am just plugging in my, my information. Remember, y goes on top, x goes on bottom. We have to stay consistent with the order. So if I'm using negative 1 minus 5 first, I need to subtract 2 minus negative 2 in that order. Simplify. My slope is negative 3 over 2. Okay. Now I am going to take that piece of information and I'm gonna plug it into um, my slope intercept form. So at this point, I just have y equals negative three over two x plus b. Now, in this example, um, or in the, these types of problems, you only need to choose one of the points to plug in for your x and y value. In this case, we're just using negative 2, 5. You would get the same answer if you used 2, negative 1. But just for the sake of this, I'm just going to use negative 2, 5, okay? Same thing as I did in the previous uh, example. I'm going to plug in all my information into my y equals mx plus b slope-intercept form. So I have 5, which is my y value, equals negative 3 over 2, my slope times negative 2, my x value, plus b. And then I'm just going to do some um, multiplication and solve. So negative 3 times negative 2 becomes positive 6, okay? And then 6 over 2, I can simplify to be 3. So then I end up with 5 equals 3 plus b. So then my intercept, my b, is going to be 2 because 5 minus 3 is 2. Okay, then I'm going to take all that information. Once I have it, I have my intercept, I have my slope, plug it into my equation. So the equation for this line that passes through negative 2, 5 and 2, negative 1 is y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 2. All right, so let's do one more example, just like in the previous um, example. Um, if you want to try and do this on your own, I think it would be a smart idea to pause my video right now, try it, and then um, I'm going to do the solution for you right now. I'm going to pick a different color. I'm going to do blue. So um, my first piece of information that I need to do is I need to find my slope. So I'm going to do using that y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 formula, that slope formula. 
what m equals. So I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to do 4 minus negative 2 over negative 5, staying consistent with my order on how I'm subtracting, minus 1. So 4 minus negative 2 becomes positive 6. Negative 5 minus 1 becomes negative 6. I'm going to simplify 6 over negative 6 to just be negative 1. So my slope in this situation is negative 1. So I'm going to plug that into my y equals mx plus b form. So I know that I have y equals, my slope is negative 1, so it's going to become negative 1 x plus b. Um, I'm going to choose one of my two um, points. Remember, it does not matter which point I use, but I am going to use just this um, 1, negative 2 because they're smaller numbers and that seems easier. So I have my x and my and my y value. So I'm going to plug that information in here. I have negative 2 equals negative 1 times x, which is 1 plus b. So I have negative 2 equals negative 1, because negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, plus b. Add 1 to both sides, solve my equation like I would solve any other equation. Negative 2 plus 1 becomes negative 1, and that is my b form. Okay. Now, if I chose the um, other point, just um, to show you that it does turn out to be the same thing, um, it would be 4, because that's my y value, equals negative 1 times negative 5 plus b. 4 equals negative 1 times negative 5 equals positive 5 plus b. Subtract 5 to both sides. b, again, is going to equal 4 minus 5 is negative 1. So if you see that they're the same thing, it doesn't matter which point you choose. So now I have my slope, which is negative 1. I have my intercept, which is also negative 1. So I'm going to plug that into my equation. I'm going to write that in green. So I have y equals m, which is my slope, negative 1, x minus 1, my intercept. So that would be my answer. All right, the last um, example I'm going to show you is um, when they are given, or I'm going to show you the beginning of it, um, if they are giving you in the information of um, the points in function form. So it says write an equation for the linear function with the values of f of, that, f of negative 2 equals 10 and f of 4 equals negative 2. So the two points that are going to be created by this is are going to be this first one. My x value is going to be negative 2. My y value is going to be 10. My next point would be 4, negative 2. Okay. And then same process I did before. Um, I'm not going to go through and do it again, but if you want to try and do it yourself, um, pause right now, do the solution, and then if you want to check your answer, here's the answer. So y equals negative 2x plus 6. That's a 6. Okay. All right, that's all I have for you today. Um, please make sure you understand um, the different ways of solving for um, a linear equation and putting it back into slope-intercept form. Thank you.